I would like to ask your permission for to use this video for educational purpose and on the internet. Yes. Thank you. Um, you told me something that was really for me moving today. Jim and I just checked on you one day after that surgery, that olive procedure that we did just yesterday. What did you tell me? I told you I could actually lay on my back, something I couldn't do in the last four years because it hurt so bad. And yeah, and that pain is gone? Yeah. After and that surgery, I could lay on my back and yeah, it don't we, bother me. We did the surgery just yesterday. It took me about 40 minutes and we lost a an ounce of blood. And we did the, the L5S1, which yep. was in a very bad shape. It was completely bone on bone. So how was the life before that, before the surgery with that oh, the last, horrible back? last four years are miserable. I four hardly, years? Yeah, I could hardly do anything. Yeah. Right. I had two back surgeries before you did this, and oh, I feel like just... In those back surgeries, what they did, they tried to literally take the pressure off. Yeah. And obviously, every time we do that, and if you don't get the problem, which is a disc out, it, the problem returns. So you got two of that surgery and the pain returned and uh, practically sometimes we decide not to do the more definitive surgery because more definitive surgery can be hours of surgery, lots of recovery, it's a risky procedure but we did that risky procedure and not risky procedure with this olive procedure. What did you know about olive and why didn't you get the more that open ultrasound surgery? I didn't know nothing about the olive until I seen your show on TV, that yeah, half okay. hour show. And uh, next week I, I'm going to the same uh, person and we have another yeah. follow up interview with him. He'll be happy to see that what he did make was, cha change people's life. I was scheduled to go to St. Cloud mm -hmm. and then I seen your commercial and that, that's mm -hmm. when I came out and talked to you and I thought, no, I'm going this way instead of getting all the way cut so open. So what would they do in St. Cloud for you? They were going to cut my stomach open, mm -hmm. flip me over, cut my back open, do what they had to do in there. And then they'd have the other people come in, sew my back up, sew my stomach up, and I would have spent probably a week or so in St. Cloud. So what did they tell you about recovery? How would have been recovery after that? Oh, uh, they said it would have been anywhere from six months to a year. Yeah, well, we can, we have a track record. Our patient within weeks go to the basic pelvis life where they put open surgery, opening up your belly, opening up your back. There's lots of trauma to deal with, to yeah. recover from. Now, uh, what made you decide to come to see us, besides that the fact that, you know, you saw that in interview, but what information in that interview in the TV? When, when you said that you go through the side mm -hmm. and there's no cut in the stomach or nothing open, mm -hmm. that, that was the way for me, right? And, and the right way, then. look at you, the way you look like, you already have walked, you yeah. are ready to go home, and your I pain is good. gone, and you feel good. So, so far, have you delivered? Oh, yes, very much so. I'm <laughs> well, glad I come to you. Well, thank you so much. I, uh, Randy will be very happy to hear that. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.